Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Osiris. Um, remember the last one? I got my butt kicked by one of them big giant crab monsters. Um, so we're actually still hurt from that. So let's go into inventory. I uh, don't have any health kits in here or bandages. So let's go over to our crate here. Open. Oh, shoot. I don't have any. Gonna have to make some. Um, all right. F2. Makeshift bandage. Uh, red fern, tree berry, and makeshift cloth. How many? One. Let's make a few of these. Well, I can only make one. Okay. So we'll make the one. Now we're going to inventory and use it. Vital stabilized. All right. We're going to have to do something about that. So let's uh, go to sleep now and get some daylight going. Let's activate and G sleep, yes. So I'm thinking, when I took, oh, wow, still two in the morning, okay. Um, it should start getting light, though, pretty soon. I think what I'd like to do is go to the workbench and see what I can find. Can I make a better weapon? Um, no, nope, can't make that one yet. Ten plus or minus. to make a basic sword. Can I make more in here? Twelve plus or minus seven, twenty critical hit. Twenty percent. Plus or minus 12, 10, 60 percent critical hit. Crude metal sword. 30, 50 percent critical hit. Dragon tooth, but we don't have the materials to make that, so I guess we'll have to try for the crude sword. So we need crude metal blade and leather straps. Crude metal blade we can make right now, so let's make one of those. And leather straps. I think we just need to get some le leather out of here because we should have that. Yep, let's get and drop a leather in there. I think we just need one for the three straps. Yep, make that. And crude metal sword. This is this way, if I bump into aliens and creatures, I might have a chance of survival. I'll try to avoid them, though. this in place of that for now so this 5 to 15 on the hit this was 2 to 14 so it's really not much better than that oh well what did I need for the upgrade on this <sighs> aluminum lead and leather <sighs> okay and then also to build the forge I said I was going to need Oh, circuit board, brass, bronze, sulfur, wire, lead, glass. I'm going to need a lot of stuff. So I think I'm going to right-click, set the build goal, so I can come out and see everything I need for the forge. And um, I'll get back. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut out this gathering part or if I'm going to speed it up or what. But let me go get these resources we need, and we'll be back with you. Right, so I still haven't found any of the resources I need, but I stumbled across this base. And that's a nice base. 
I don't see any creatures around. Let's go take a look inside. Careful. Uh, oh, good. Patch tape. Take that in the first aid kit. Might as well just take all of it. What's this way? What do we have in here? Ah, another care crate. Oh, look at that. Radar scanner. We can use that for navigating terrain and scanning for resources. Yes. All right, so a handheld one. Got some water, an empty jug. Yeah, we can take all that. And anything else? Nothing in here. Oh, that's not a good sign. Is there something in here? What happened to this dude? Oh, that can't be good. Can't interact with them at all. Ah, bandages, scrap metal. What's that? Broken computer screen? Sure. Alright, now we're half backpack's half full. Well, this is interesting. Can we take this buggy that's out here? Let's go see. No, I don't think we can. All right, well, I'm going to continue on for more resources. We'll be back. So we uh, found a buggy. I think we're going to get it. Salvage it and try to fix it. This will help us get around a whole lot faster than just trying to walk. Uh, these repairs, two of nine pieces operational. I begin repairs. So what do we need? Uh, we need rubber. One, two, three, four rubbers. We need a fuel cell. Oh, we have one. We can repair that now. And a barrel. We have that. We can repair that. And a hose. So we need to get a hose and four rubbers and come back to this thing. So let's head back to our hut as quickly as we can. Um, hut, hut, that way. And uh, we'll catch you back at that when we make stuff to see if we can come get this buggy. All right, well, we're back at the hut. It is getting dark, so I'm going to sleep. Activate the respawn and G to sleep one more day. And all right, so we're back. I'm going to build the rubber and the hose so we can go back and get that buggy. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to cruise around a lot better. That would be cool. All right, should be getting light soon. That's 124. Um, forge. Cool, we can make six rubber, that's good. We need four. Oh, but how much do we need for the hose? Oy. Take that. Come to our workbench. Use it. Should be a hose in here, I think. Yep, hose. Makeshift, la two makeshift, one makeshift flashing, one broken hose, and one rubber. Perfect. Let's make a hose. Okay, take that. So now we have what we need. We can make a barrel. You know what? Um, the buggy's probably going to need fuel. If I'm not mistaken, it's hydrogen. So we're going to need a barrel. Not a broken barrel. 
but a working barrel. Excellent. Let's open this. Um, you can say fill like, and that will actually take whatever's in here. If you have it in your backpack, it'll take it out. So, yep, a couple scrap hinge changed. Not much else changed. Okay. So we have a container. Um, we didn't take the barrel from the workbench, did we? No, we didn't. So we'll take that. So now we should have it in our inventory. Yes, we do. So if we find a hydrogen vent, we'll fill it with hydrogen. I'm pretty sure that's the fuel the buggy uses. And we'll go from there. Uh, all right, I'm off to trek back to the buggy. I'll see you when we get there. So I've somehow gotten myself stuck in a severe dust storm. It says I'm behind cover because I'm standing behind this tree. If I step out, I'll get hurt. So I just have to wait for the storm to pass now. Fun! See you when the storm passes and I get to uh, the buggy or if I find something else interesting along the way. All right, so we're coming back up to the buggy. Make sure there's no little critters running around here or big ones. Repair tool out. And F begin repairs. Uh oh, meteor. That's close. Get some good resources out of the meteors, but we don't need it right now. That one hit really close. How really close did that one hit? Oh, right over there. Fix the hose. Creatures. Come on, come on. And it's a fixed buggy. Oh, uh, refuel with hydrogen because it doesn't have any. And uh, oh, yeah, all right. So oh, I was right. It needs hydrogen. So now we got to go find hydrogen. Oh, well, all right. I'm off to find some hydrogen. We'll be back. There's a ship over there. I think we're going to go that way if we can. Hold on. Let's see if we can get there. So we've made it to the ship. can do with it or is this like that buggy or that rover that we can't use that's pretty neat great ah, broken circuit board we're gonna need that for sure can always use some junk metal plastic hinge take a broken barrel doesn't look like it's usable Looks like it's been stripped. But I think we found our hydrogen. This vent is hydrogen. Okay, so F1. Let's find our barrel. Put it in here. And take some hydrogen. There. Barrel's full. Now, I just gotta head back to the buggy, and then we'll have a vehicle. So we'll see when we get there. Alright, we're back to the buggy. We have some hydrogen for fuel. Make sure there's no creatures around. But we're gonna have it. I have transportation. This is gonna be sweet. Hydrogen. So, B to refuel vehicle. Switch to the hydrogen. It's nice. Alright. 
Wrong button. Um, F to board vehicle. Ha ha ha. This is cool. We should probably go back to that spaceship now. See if we can get some more hydrogen. And it was... Oh, wow. This thing is quick. Uh, where was that thing? Whoa. Yikes. All right. I think I need to go around. And with this, if we run into a big crab, I think we could probably get away. Sweet. Oh, boy. Where was that ship? He's over here. Oh, there it is. Uh, can I get down there? Ah, oh, it's a steep drop, isn't it? So we can find something slightly shallower. More radio additions and uh, solar panels. Is there stuff here? There's a box there. Let's uh, see. No creatures. Okay. Top out. Uh, what's this? Rocks. What's in here? Ooh, another battery. Two. We'll take it all. Let's go. Back in the buggy. And. Oh, this looks like a shallower spot. Hey! <laughs> in a rock. Yep. There's the ship. There's the hydrogen. So we can fill up the buggy and get a barrel of hydrogen. And we'll put it in our backpack. So we'll hop out. Extract hydrogen. Fill hydrogen. Extract. Fill. Okay, buggy's full. So now let's refill the barrel. And, oh, look at that. Gee, the buggy's got inventory. Not a lot. But let's put the hydrogen in the buggy's inventory. Uh, what else do we got? Put the battery in there. I want to put the heavy stuff in, actually. That's 8 kilograms. Let's put those in there. 0.5. 9 kilograms. What else do we have that might be heavy? 0 0.5, 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Not much. We'll just to put stuff we don't necessarily need. Well, this is 3.5, so we'll pop that in there. And makeshift cloth bundle. That's 2 kilograms. All right, we'll put that in there for now. Cool. All right, it's getting dark. I think I'm going to head back to the hut, and I'll catch you over there. And we're back to our base with a buggy. How sweet is that? All right, so I think... Tomorrow, um, we're going to sleep a night, and then uh, turn the lights off. I think tomorrow we'll, uh, well, the next day in game here, we're going to sleep. And uh, now, next we'll take the buggy out to actually go get the darn resources we need. <laughs> so, but this is going to be neat. We can be able to get places faster. Um, probably make some more barrels and go get some more hydrogen, too, at some point. But I really want to get this forge built and maybe try to get some better weapons. So I'm just going to hop in a buggy and go do some more research stuff, and uh, we'll be back with you. All right. Well, I found some zinc so far. And it's all five. Yay. But this looks like it's tin right here, but there's a little creature over there. So can I get out, get some tin, and get back in the buggy before the creature comes at me? I doubt it. Ah, oh, there's like three of them. Uh-oh. You know what? Ah, uh, four of them. What are those things? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a marker on this spot. And... Put a 
marker two. Let's put a marker there. Make marker one. And we're going to keep on going to the hut and try to get to some daytime so I can see better. This is crazy. But I bet you we can race past these guys and we'll be all right. So we'll see you at the hut. Okay, uh, we're back at the hut, and um, <laughs> a little small change of plans. There's a radar dish that I discovered here, the small radar kit. This will help you find resources and stuff. Remember, in the I think it was the last video I said we were going to want to build that sooner rather than later. Driving around with the buggy and using the handheld scanner, it's neat, but I have to go everywhere um, to be able to identify what the resources are. Like, for instance, in my map here, if I look at low-density minerals, there's nothing within this range... So everything out here is just unidentified minerals. So I don't know what's where. Which would be super handy. So medium density. Ah, there's some around here. This is iron. So it's color-coded over here. Um, so that's probably a bunch of iron. I don't know what's down here, though. But uh, I think this radar dish in here, this ra small radar dish kit, I think building this is going to be awesome because I think we can also mount it to our buggy. So as we drive around, we'll have a better view. We don't have to stop and get out and check things. Ah. So we just need some scrap metal now, which I'm pretty sure we have. I may have stashed it in the buggy's inventory. Yep, scrap metal. How many do we need? Two. So let's go in there, grab the scrap metal, and right-click on two. There we go. Escape that. So now we can come over here. F. Small radar dish kit. Boom. Now if we can mount this to the buggy. <laughs> that's going to be nice. be very nice. We'll take that. Hit escape. Come on over the buggy. Uh, F2. Utilities. Small radar dish. Small satellite dish. Two. We can mount it to the buggy. Huh. Alright, well, let's cancel this build then. For the moment, let's take a look at the map. And where are we? We're on this edge here. What if we were to come out and put it over here somewhere? Let's throw a marker two there. Oh, let's drive over there and maybe set it up there instead. I really thought we could mount it to the buggy, though. Two. There's one. 890-some-odd meters that way. Okay, we can do that. Uh, downhill. Woohoo! Here we go. Oy. This buggy can take a beating, that's for sure. Oh, big crab. Let's get up and out of here. Make sure he doesn't follow me. Oh, he's trying. He's trying to intercept me. Let's keep moving, though. No! Oh. Ah, it's a nasty little creature. Follow me anymore, is he? There's another creature over there on the left. We're going to zoom right past him. He's pretty slow. Oh no. Did I pick a spot in the middle of a crater with a big giant bug? Oh, there are some bugs in there. We should be able to soar through there. Oh, yeah, big crab. Ah, let's try coming up the 
this way. And let's climb up to the top of this here peak. Let's see if we can set it up up here. Starvation warning. Confirm build, hold. Yay. All right, let's get back into our vehicle. I'll eat something. Um, what have I got to eat? Ooh, not much. Some Cineferns. That does a little. Blue Palms. Nutritional balance achieved. And drink some water. Now let's take a look at the map. How far do we extend now? That's not so bad. So what's this now? We got 10 over here. Titanium over here. Low density. Aluminum. High density. Cobalt. Molybdenum. And unidentified. Ultra dense. Tungsten. So we've got some ideas now. So I'm going to keep going with uh, resource hunting. And we'll see you when I get some more stuff. All right. So we're back at the base. I managed to get a couple of resources. I still don't have everything I need. It's tough. It is a grind. Um, the recording itself is going on two hours and 18 minutes. Um, obviously, the video is going to be a lot shorter than that. Uh, but I did manage to get enough to be able to use the furnace to create my one brass that I need. Uh, and for the brass, I needed um, copper and zinc. So I had found the zinc early on. It took forever to find the copper, but I finally found it. So uh, let's make a brass. And we'll take that. So there we go. Now we can see in green, I have the brass is one for one. That's in green. Wires one to one, and that's loud. Oh, wow. That hit close. And so did that. My God. All right, neither one of them are actually that close that I feel like trying to run to. Uh, so we made the brass. So anyway, we got brass and wire. Um, I think I'm going to stop this recording right here, and I'll pick up the next one. Um, you know, from here, still gathering out resources. So I don't know how short this video is going to be. It's kind of an experiment. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.